Good evening. This is Tina. This is another. This is gonna be a Hello World uh, demo for using the MongoDB driver. Okay. So in our last video, we installed the MongoDB, right? This one. And now let's write a, a driver. Okay. Uh, let's write a Hello World. Um, uh, here the package where I I didn't organize the package very well because uh, for that hello world we just need a single JS file and it contains everything which you connect to database fetch the documents and do something but uh, the data d, d, day eight is uh, entire project for our online shopping uh, what I'm gonna do I just create a util okay and in the util gonna create that uh, uh, like uh, uh, what's the thing what should I say uh, database.js okay and here what I'm gonna do yes okay I don't want to use this one use another because later on I'm gonna have another name using uh, Mongo drive MongoDB driver dot js. This is this one. And uh, how to run this application? We just using node MongoDB driver dot js. Okay. We don't actually uh, no need for express application. But I didn't organize the code uh, very well. So that's the way how I do. Okay. Hope you don't mind. Okay. So first thing is we using a Mongo client, okay, which is the client which that MongoDB driver provide provide us, which is this one provide us, this MongoDB provide us, okay. We can using this Mongo client to connect to our database. So require MongoDB then dot Mongo client, okay. Once you get a, a Mongo client, you can have a Mongo client dot connect. Okay, to connect a MongoDB, you have to one is uh, the URL. Okay, MongoDB URL to uh, connect, and by default, MongoDB is like this: localhost uh, two seven. Two seven uh, zero one seven. This is the default port number. Then, if it connected successfully, it's uh, it's gonna return you a promise for you. So you can continue using then. Okay, and if it's successful, it will go to the then. Then you can get the client, which hold the connection to, <coughs> uh, which hold the connection of uh to the MongoDB. From a connection, you can get the uh, database. You can also do the operation, okay? And if it fail, you can in using the catch. And here you can have arrow. Then you can have a console.log. Uh, sorry, a e r r. Okay. So once it get connected, you can console. This is gonna show console.log like connected. And then from this client, you can get the database. Okay, you can set which database you want to work with. Suppose I using this client dot db, and this one I will you connect to our how about this one test col. Oh, sorry, test db. Okay, test db. I will go to our test db. Okay, which is uh, uh this one test db. Okay, and then. From test db, what you can do is db dot collection, which is which collection you want to work with. Here, let's work with test database and test col or or products. Uh, let's using products, okay? P R O D U products, okay? Which collection you want to work with? Products, okay? And uh, which operator? Find. Oh, now I forgot one thing. Inside the the difference between SQL and NoSQL, I forgot this to talk about. In SQL, they have a special language called uh, 
uh, what's the thing? Query language, like a select a star from select asterisk from products where equals something. But in MongoDB, which is NoSQL, there is no special query language for that. We just work with the documents, which is a JSON, and the work with the method. Okay, like find is to retrieve everything. Okay, and it will also uh, this find will return a cursor for you. Which cursor is a point to actual result. You can use two array method to get it all, or you can use each method to get, uh, uh, so not for each, each, each method to get it one by one, okay? And each method will give you a callback. The first one is error, second one is documents, okay? Each document inside this uh, uh, product, then we can go is uh, console.log. Uh, BOC okay and then after you are do everything is done you can using a client dot close which is I close the connection okay otherwise it's always uh, uh, connected so now let's take a look at and how to run it okay so in our test DB products uh, as we see we should see all the products being pr uh, all the products document will be uh, printed okay how to run we navigate to the util okay <clears throat> then we're using node mongo driver.js okay now you see here i will say connected connected <clears throat> then we will see the documents like a first product second and the third and the fourth and we have two others this now is also printed by this one which represent the last document because it's a cursor right it's gonna move one by one one by one one by one the last one after the last one you're gonna have a now okay and uh, here we have a warning which is this one is a warning uh, deprecated warning which because the engine they are switching the three engine into one engine and uh, to do to using a new engine and we're just using this one because the new uh, the old engine where we do this work where we connect to mongodb using this method it's gonna using the older uh, monetary engine okay server discovery and monetary engine and which gonna be removed in the future and to use a new one just to pass this one pass this uh, option there how to do that do like this way and after you do like this way uh then when we start again okay when we run again you want to see this warning okay let me show you I like uh finish and i started here see here we don't see the warning and you will see connected and you will see all the documents so this is uh, how to uh using mongodb uh this module uh, which is just great library to help us open connection fetch data update data and uh, do the catch the errors when we connect to the database and uh, using this mongodb this module okay and uh, this is the code how we wrote to connect to our mongodb and this one is a basic find functionality okay and using this way is it a good in a uh, enterprise application suppose my uh this online shopping now i don't want to save here we save into in memory array right now i don't want to save i want to connect it into mongodb do you think write like this way is gonna be good every time i write the entire thing like suppose i want to do a save do i need i write all the things and then I go to the find by ID, find all, then I write the whole part, which is not good. Okay, so the next video, I will show you a slightly better way. And then another video, I will show you the best way. Okay, I will show you the two ways to do that. But uh, the, the second solution still not a good. Okay, so uh that's it for this video and uh see you next time bye bye